We also have a handy record button here. Pressing that will start the camera to record and we can lock that too just to make sure that we don't stop recording. Going through the display here, we hold the setting button down, highlights the frame rate. Using the jog wheel here, we can select it and then we can scroll through the five different options we have and select the frame rate we want. You can also go into the shutter angle, choose from the eight, eight different steps that we have, or we can go continuous by one-tenth of a, of a point to really dial in the if we need to synchro scan a display or anything else like that. Also, if we're in the electronic shutter, it gives us a couple of different options as well. Moving on, we go to the NDs. That gives us an option from three stops, four stops, five stops, six stops completely of ND built into the camera. EI level we have from 200 to 3200, the nominal being of course 800, which gives us 6.2 exposures, 6.2 stops of exposure above the 18% gray and being a 14 stop latitude camera gives us 7.8 roughly stops below that level. Uh, we can also come back in here and go to the white balance and set that as 3200, 5500, 4300 as well. Here we have the gammas which currently we have S-log and we can also select 800% Rec. 709 for broadcast safe. And we also have here the viewfinder display so we can toggle the information in the viewfinder on and off. And next to it, I can activate the viewfinder menu. As you see here, it tells me viewfinder. And then the menu in the viewfinder, we can go through and select those items. Once we have everything set, if we're unsure or we want to walk away from the camera, we can always flip the lock here and make sure that none of the settings can be messed with. Up above our display here, we also have the four user assignable buttons that Sony gives us. So we can say magnification in the viewfinder, uh, say deck return, and a host of other options that are available to us, uh, which we assign in the viewfinder menu here.